Welcome back to Windy City Live. She's an actress, a comedian, an author. Of course, you know her from the Bad Mom series. You know her from her role in Mrs. Fletcher. And of course, Afternoon Delight, just to name a few. Please say hello to funny woman, Catherine Hahn. Hey, Catherine. Hi, it's so good to see you. Great Catherine, you. it is so good to see you. I feel like we already know you because we've seen so much of your work. And I just found out you were born in Chicago. Chicago and you went to Northwestern. So this is a, a big city for you. Oh yeah, I love Chicago. I miss it, miss it, miss it desperately. Exactly. I met my uh I met my now hubby in Chicago and at Northwestern. Exactly. So we have a real a real affinity for your town. I miss it. I bet you don't miss it in the winter time though. I think you only probably Yeah, no. I don't. I mean, you know what though? I do. I really do. Weirdly enough, I do miss. I do miss a season, like a full mm. season. Sometimes. I mean, I listen. I, I. It's hard for me to say any of this to you now when I've got like some sunshine outside. So I know I always feel guilty saying that, but I do miss a season. I miss a thunderstorm. I miss a crocus. <laughs> a crocus. <laughs> well, I, I have to tell you. Um, for a long time, Val had not seen Bad Moms, and I would talk about it every day on Windy City Live for a little while. And I was like, Val, you gotta watch this because she has that mommy guilt. I'm like, you gotta watch Bad Moms. It's not only is it a great movie, but it's sort of a personal handbook for every mom out there that feels a little bit guilty. So she watched it, she loved it, and that's why she was like, oh, you're interviewing Katherine Hahn? We got, I gotta be in this interview. Oh, that's so awesome. It, no, seriously, you don't even know. I was that mom who was trying to do everything, the projects, the meetings, the this, the that. And I watched that movie. I probably had the best laugh that I've had in a long time after watching it. All of them, by the way. Oh. Um, but I can appreciate it. And now I am a proud bad mom. <laughs> well, I'm so glad. I love that you called it a handbook. I don't know if I, if I would necessarily call it a handbook for parenthood but, or motherhood, but I was, it certainly, it's certainly a good release for sure. I love doing those movies so much and I totally agree with you, Val. Like it's, it, it's, it's bananas what's asked of us and also the expectations that we put on ourselves. And it is so good to let loose. I mean, especially now, I mean, this is bananas to try to like wear all these hats within the same house. It's crazy. So yeah, that movie, um, meant a lot to a lot of women it really it certainly moved us that it did and i'm right. I, I think you said it right when you said especially now that's something that we should all revisit and pop in and watch again because right now how are you holding up in the quarant quarantine because you have 10 and 13 10 and 13 exactly it's i mean we're doing okay it's definitely like we, we keep calling it like we have isolation within isolation like my, my teenager needs a lot of space so we're just trying to give him wide berth we're like, you know, we're all kind of like, we have, you know, like anybody, like we have got definitely our ups and downs. Like there's a lot of baking going on, too much baking going on. All I want is carbs. Um, <laughs> what is that about? Me too. No, no. It's just like comfort, comfort, comfort. <laughs> and just so much comfort food. Um, but we're, we're like, yeah, we're doing okay. I mean, online schooling, everybody's pretty self-reliant until it, like, it's like code red. And then I try to run in and try to put out a fire and I'm so not technologically savvy at all. So like, I just feel like my children, my children have become my IT team, which is like hilarious. Like I have, cause I have, I know nothing. And so my kids are the ones who's who are helping me out with all of this. Like this is on an iPad right now because that's all I've got. It's <laughs> like, everything is a little bit like you should see the stack of books and pillows that this is on. Like everything is a little like, uh, but we're, we're doing okay. Yeah. Now, now do, do your kids think that mommy is funny because you're in some of my favorite comedies, Step Brothers, Anchorman, we're, we're the Millers. Do they watch your movies and do they think you're funny? No, of course not. <laughs> Neither? No. no, your parents, you're never cool to your children. That will never, ever. There's like flashes of it. And then I'm like, oh, but then it's gone. Like, but you're never, I don't think that you're ever supposed to be cool to your children. <laughs> ever. That's like, and there's like, and also we were laughing. Like I, there, I mean, it's even like, I'm embarrassing to them wherever we go. But even in this chapter in the house with them, they're still like, oh my God. And I'm like, who are you embarrassed in front of? Like, it's just us. And I'm still embarrassing to you. Like, I don't, I mean, we're just us. And Maybe. I'm still somehow embarrassing. It's hilarious. My husband and I are laughing about it. But are we do have 
have a lot of laughs in here though. It's, we've been finding like real glimmers of joy together, which has been really, really sweet. I was gonna say, are you on, are they on a Zoom or something? And then you're coming through like being funny in the background. Is that what's oh, embarrassing to them? I would be, are you kidding me? That would be, I can't even like, there's no way. It would be devastating to them if I was to, if I was to slip into a Zoom. No way, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Not that doing would be that. Devast no, I would not do that. That would not, in no way. <laughs> I actually do. Actually, we, uh, we enjoy a lot of your comedies. Your latest project, certainly mm. not a comedy on HBO. I know this much is true. I just started watching it. Val just started watching it as well. <laughs> Set this up for us a little bit. And uh, I know Mark Ruffalo is, is fantastic in it as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really special project to me. This is, I know this much is true, is based on the Wally, it, it's adapted from the Wally Lamb novel of the same name. I think it's a beautiful story of two brothers, of one of whom is schizophrenic and uh, one of whom has been his caretaker his whole life. Mark Ruffalo plays the twins and Derek C. in France, uh, who also directed Blue Valentine, plays Beyond the Pines. He's an extraordinary director, um, directed all six episodes of the miniseries and it's just extra it, I think it's just extraordinary mark is so extraordinary in both parts um, I think it's an incredibly empathetic look at mental illness and also what it takes to be the toll it takes on caretakers of somebody who has to caretake someone with extreme mental illness and it's just a beautiful piece of acting on mark's part and the rest of the cast there's something really moving about it especially now to me um, just about how imperative it is, how imperative family is, especially when we're so far apart from each other. I know for me, just being on Zoom calls with family members that maybe I, I just haven't been in touch with for years and years, like for even these Zoom calls are just like medicinal. Um, so uh, yeah, I could not be more proud. Yeah, it's, it's very good. It's, it's heavy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's beautiful, it's deep, it's dark at times. How is that for you as an actress? Because we've seen you in so many funny roles and then to transition into something like this that's so meaningful. Yeah, I mean, as an actor, I've always, I, I've never really defined myself as a comedian. It's funny that I've done a lot of comedies, but I've been able to really, I feel very lucky that I've been able to go back and forth, I guess, between genres or to be able to do a lot of different genres. And that's always been something that I've been, that's been very important to me to be able to do. Um, you know, I did a show called Mrs. Fletcher, which was kind of like right on the same line. And you referenced Afternoon Delight, which was kind of right on the same line and transparent and that kind of, so I've always kind of gravitated toward things that were kind of right in the middle that are at that place that uh, kind of, you're not sure if you're gonna burst into tears or laughter. Like that's always my favorite kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, uh, so yeah, I, I'm really lucky that I've been able to kind of slip around genres, as it were. <laughs> so since Mark Ruffalo plays two characters in this, does he get two paychecks? <laughs> That's a great, great question. I don't know, but he would deserve them. <laughs> uh, Catherine, we also have to talk about your new project coming out, Central Park. Tell us about that. Yes, it's an, uh, it's going to be on Apple TV Plus. I could not be more excited about it. It's a uh, animated musical co-created by Lauren Bouchard and Josh Gad, and it's um, I mean I, I'm like stunned that I'm included in this like vocal lineup. I mean the cast is unbelievable. It's Josh, it's Leslie Odom Jr. plays I play his wife, like we're a husband and wife, which I, that thought is just kind of blowing my mind. Titus Burgess and Kristen Bell are children. Um, it's uh, Stanley Tucci, David Diggs. Um, uh, it's just like, a, it, it just goes on and on. Like the, the vocal talent in the show is unbelievable. I am really good at karaoke. <laughs> like I cannot <laughs> believe I slipped into this group of humans when they asked me to do this. Um, I, it was such a, I, I just thought I was terrified. And I also thought like, oh, this is a challenge. I've never done anything like this before. I'm so thrilled to be able to sing in something. And I was, it, it just is something that's going to just bring like, hopefully just joy, smiles on everybody's faces. It's something that the whole family can see. It's, it's multi-generational uh, viewing, I think, because it's, it's funny. It's so heartwarming. You're not going to be able to forget the music. And it's, uh, uh, yeah, Lauren Bouchard, who did Bob's Burgers. So you just, it has an edge to it that's like just, you know, just great enough for the grown-ups. And the songs are just like, you, you just can't believe what you're hearing. I mean, Leslie Odom Jr.'s voice is like a, another level, as we all know, and Kristen's and Titus's. It's crazy. It's so good. 
Yes, yeah, star-studded cast. And you talked about kind of like the range and the different genres that you like to do. So you got the series, you got the comedy, you got the animated. You also- And now musical, it's crazy. And, yeah. And, and wrote a book a couple of years ago. So, uh, and, and tell us about a little bit about that book. Yeah, the book is something I wrote. Um, it's called My Wish For You. And it started as a Lenny letter, the now defunct, sadly, Lenny letter. That was something that I had written kind of like after listening to my daughter kind of muse in bed at night when she was like telling me about her day. It was just kind of what, I just loved her kind of innate confidence and, and just sense of self and fearlessness and just like being able to be completely in her body and own who she was so as a, her identity and just completeness. And it was just kind of like my wish that she would just hold on to that when she was like passing through adolescence into womanhood. And just to be able, you know, things that I wish that I had been told when I was a little girl that like, I just, you know, hopefully it's just for, um, you know, parents and their, and mothers and their daughters to read together. I, it, it's something like a sweet wish, which I could not be also like more tickled that we um, were able to write together kind of, and the illustrations are beautiful. Um, it's by the same, the illustrations by the same woman who did Uni the Unicorn which is one of our favorite children's books and um yeah could not be it's the sweetest well Catherine, you have been so fun we are so happy that we got this oh, chance so good to, to see you, with you over the, when you're in chicago when we get past this on the other side of this pandemic stop in and see us in studio we'd love to oh, have you i absolutely will i also have to tell you we have been like i'm gonna be so sad when the last dance is over because it's just been taking me right back to that period when i was there I and i just know. anyway it's all I want is a Chicago dog all the time. I've been thinking oh. about it. I'll it's have one hot. for you tonight. Oh, please do. I miss it so much. I need that relish on my dog. Yes, and we have been addicted to The Last Dance. What a great show that it's is on so ESPN good. if you're not watching that. All right, Catherine Hahn, make sure you check out her show on HBO. I know this much is true. And Central Park coming to Apple+. Plus. Uh, if you want to see this entire interview, we will have it on the Windy City Live YouTube page. Uncut. Uncut. Uh -oh. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs>